Oxygen dries quickly. And this is the box that it comes in. Tape it down or anything. I'm just gonna put a couple bobby pins in it just all the way up to the crease. Hi YouTube, it's your girl Love Kisses 99 I'm coming at you today with a wig review and this is my new unit and her name is, hope you can see her clearly, her name is Antara and she's from RuthsBeautyShop.com. This is a Brazilian wave texture. It's designed to mimic the um, texture of virgin Brazilian hair. It is a 100% Indian Remy and it's a medium brown Swiss lace with a stretch panel in the middle and I already cut the lace off because I did I have to admit to you guys I did wear her this week all week and I didn't have a chance to do my review and share her with you and what I did is I sewed wig clips into the unit I put two wig clips here which this is the nape these two wig clips are for behind the ear, here and here. And then these two are for at the temples right here. And it's color number two, which is a natural dark brown. She can be curled with a curling iron. She can be flat ironed. And when I tell you I took this unit through the paces this week, because you know how we do. One day, you know, we don't always want to look the same every day. So one day I wore it flat ironed. Another day I wore it just naturally curly wavy and then I also use my Caruso professional steam curlers I picked up one of those units from Sally Beauty Supply and I even used the steam curlers on it and no matter which way I went with it it really did give me the style that I wanted the ease that I needed and I'm also doing treatments for my hair so to be able to take it off frequently is is works is working very well for me a, a unit that doesn't really need much product on it when I wore it wavy like this I just dampened it did a little bit of scrunching with a towel out the door I went when I did the steam curlers took the curlers out ran my fingers through it I was good to go um, and with the flat iron you know how that goes that's as easy as pie which I'm going to show you how well this flat irons once I show you once I put it on And I like the hairline I don't really wear my hair pulled back too often so when I do wear it pulled back I kind of strategically use the wispy hair which is all around the perimeter to cover the clips or sometimes I use like bobby pins in between just to get that really tight hold and right now I'm just kind of putting my clips underneath the wig cap and they snap and honestly you can get a really good buy on eBay for wig clips I like the larger kit clips because they seem to hold a lot stronger and I think I got 24 clips between large clips and small clips I don't think it was ten dollars and I know in some of the beauty supply stores they want like two and three dollars for two clips and you know me I gotta have a bargain nothing beats a bargain and here she is and her name is Zantara and I used to really back in the day when I was wearing weaves I used to wear my hair long then I went through this transition to wear my hair short and now here I am wearing long hair again and I have to say I kind of like it so just up close and it has bleach knots and this is underneath what you see here is my my little um, knee high I usually I'm starting to really wear a knee high more than a wig cap because sometimes when you don't use adhesive on the perimeter sometimes your wig cap slides all around and I just can't be bothered with that so a queen size knee high is what fits me and it stays put it doesn't shift around too much so that's what I've been using and I'm just gonna pull it back so you can see the hairline and the one good thing when you well one of the many good things when you wear a unit with clips or bobby pins it has you can rest it really on your own hairline so then that way it kind of gives it more of a natural look and I really used to just wear a couple of 
wig clips sewn into my units for the back. So now what I'm going to do is find a comb real quick and I'm going to show you how easily and how beautifully this unit flat irons. Okay. Just going to give her a little part. And I have my hair art curling iron. Don't do what I just did. When you're detangling, use a really large tooth comb. That way you won't lose any of the hairs in your unit. But me being in a rush, trying to get it done. And now, I'm not going to flat iron the whole thing, but I just want to give you an idea of how well it does flat iron. And of course, right now, I cannot find my heated glove, my heat resistant glove from Sally Beauty Supply Store. So, there's that piece all nice and flat ironed. And here she is. And let me just find a little bit of water so that I can get this piece to curl back up. So I'll be right back. Okay, it took me a minute to find a water bottle. So now I'm just going to show you how quickly and how easily she waves back up with just a little bit of water. I'm just using my little cloth here to keep the water from dripping all over the place. Just gotta give her a minute to get the water saturated through the air. And the unit came so very well packaged. I love the packaging. And it smelled really, really nice when I got it. And in the package also was this. It's like a little fragranced hair conditioner that you just spritz on it. And it smelled so sweet. Might as well just spritz it some more while I'm doing it. A little bit of scrunching. And as you can see, that wave comes right back. I love the versatility of that. So if I want to be a curly girl one day, I can be a curly girl one day. And then I can be a straight haired girl the next day, curls the next day. Whatever moves you, gotta love that. And there she is. Her waves are coming right on back. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Zantara from Roots Beauty Shop. I'm going to leave all the information in the sidebar so you can check out the site when you have an opportunity. So I hope you're having a good day today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.